meow meow, I'm a cow. I mean a cat. Hey guys, we're playing an awesome indie game called Valheim. It's, uh, it's a great game. Fantastic. It's an indie game. It's a small team of like 10 people or something like that. And they're constantly updating it. They literally just updated it today, too. Uh, it's very cool. I think the most admirable part of this game is its kind of atmosphere. It is pretty darn good with it. And it can teach us a little thing or two about game design, I think. So, I've already kind of played a map on this. Uh, I guess in, in rough sense, genre-wise, this is a survival game, you could call it. Um, but there's a lot of elements to it, including crafting. But uh, things are kind of hard, they're kind of edgy. It's kind of like old games where it has a real sense of that kind of like Dungeons and Dragons, even though kind of the theme is this kind of Celtic Viking kind of thing. Dude, this game is, I, I'm so excited to play even though I've already been playing it. But I'm going to start a new character for this playthrough. Name is Sexy Cat. <laughs> I guess I got I to gotta be a Viking, not a Southern Bale. Oh, I can't be a Viking. I could add a beard, but I don't have, I can't grow a beard, really beards in real life. So, I wonder if it gives you, I think it gives you pre in here. So, that's my old world. So, I got to make a new world. something with a cow. cow there you go. That sounds kind of like real. Instead of the random seed, I want to enter my own seed. So, <clears throat> what is it? Everything's a number, but letters become numbers or something? I'm just going to do numbers. Uh, just do five, five, five. My last seed was 111. One, one. 11,111. Start server. This interface looks a little bit different. Yes. So I. So we'll see what I can learn from this time around. Maybe I can do a little bit better from the get go now that I have a little bit of knowledge, but I'll try not to spoil anything. Monsters! Ooh. Well, some scary stuff. This is generate a world. Now, there's obvious. Since it's survival crafting, there's obvious. Uh, you can compare things to Minecraft. Minecraft. When Minecraft added survival elements, I think that was one of the earliest tropes they wanted to put in Minecraft. Survival games were kind of hip. There was like, don't starve. And, I don't know, I remember others. Okay, I guess I gotta read this. <clears throat> Long ago, the Orfeather Odin united the worlds. He threw down his foes and cast them into the tenth world, and split the bows that held the prison to the world tree, and left it to drift unanchored, a place of exile. For centuries, this world slumbered uneasily, but it did not die. As glacial ages passed, kingdoms rose out and fell out of sight of the gods. When Odin heard his enemies were growing once again in strength, he looked at Midgard and his Valkyries to scour the battlefields of the greatest of the warriors dead to the world would be reborn again in Valheim. Woo! Crow, take me to this cursed land. I'm just like a criminal and being banished here, I think. It's, uh, oh, I think it's just like a good perspective. Now that I know. Why you banish me here to this beautiful forest? It's so beautiful, but damn. So circle. The crow's my friend. Welcome to the tenth world, warrior. I am Hugo, sent here to guide you in your travels. 
the megaliths surrounding you are the sacrificial stones. They represent the Forsaken, which you must lay in order to ascend in Valhalla. I thought I named my world. You don't get to name my world freaking crow. <gasps> Disappear. Excusez-moi. Well, Matt, this stone is a big visa. Big visa. These magical stones were scattered through the lands by Odin as signposts pointing towards the ritual grounds of the Forsaken. Man, <laughs> if inspected closer, this one will reveal the summoning priest of Ekthan. Your first prey. He's a mighty beast, so you need to properly arm yourself before you even attempt to defeat him. I can speed run this game. So yeah, he kind of gets. There's uh, bosses, basically. So this is the first boss. This is a representation of him. And when you when you kill them, you put their head on these hooks. Hell yeah. Oh god. Fuck yeah. And uh, I guess I could just tell you, I, I beat these two bosses so far in my other game. But I've not been able to beat this boss. And they're pretty hard. They're quite hard. And I think you're supposed to have like multiple people help you in this game, I guess? <laughs> Force multiplayer games. So yes, we are the fledgling fledgling little one into this world. Let's punch some trees. How do you know how to survive survival games? Punch trees. It's just a small tree. A small biatch. Punch tree. Yes. Uh, so, to make a couple tools, maybe some wood and stone, like you would expect. <coughs> Pretty cool. I do like Minecraft a lot, so I like to make comparisons between them. Hey! Oh, it's a scary goblin! I think if I saw this in real life, I would actually be terrified, but I know these wimpy guys. Look, look at them running around. It's a freaking little wimp! Oh, shh, you got your friend home? What do you think about that? Huh. Yo, you're still going for it, huh? What about that? This is very effective. I'm running out of health. I'm gonna die. I'm used to having more health. I'm gonna punch some trees. So, yeah, there's some bad guys. In the daytime. Oh, thanks for doing that, Alma. One of them died. I got resin. Oh, resin from a beach. So I have my my armor is just my tunic here. I can make a club. These guys also go on fire when you hit them. With the, torch. the legends. Oh, I started the torch. Legends say these these men are made of the weight, the anger of murderers. Come back to life, the corpses, the corpses of murder come back from the. And they they sprout like mushrooms. And they grow from the like the waste. When when you kill them, you get resin and wood. Take stock of your inventory. Okay, I do know these things, so I kind of I think I can skip. Show key hints. I kind of like seeing the bird, so we'll just we'll hang around. Yeah, I already talked to him. I hadn't seen him in a while in my other file. It's refreshing to see a crow boy in this desolate, lonely place. Hey, Warren. You found a snack. Wow, cool. Eat food. Have longer stamina, so on the bottom middle is your stamina, and it's uh, you can only do actions like jumping or running or punching when you have enough stamina. They all take different amount of stamina. So it's an interesting take to the game. I'm gonna say, object just objectively from experiencing in this game, because I've considered this system before too. It's like an action point system, like from the original Fallout games, where you have limited actions. Although I think 
role-playing game plays a lot differently than an action game. What other games? I think I haven't played Skyward Sword, but I know it has a famous stamina system. I'm gonna say for the first time playing it first time. It's kind of just more just annoying, but it's, it's, it's a thing to maintain the game. This game is a hard game. There's a lot of things. A lot of things it throws at you to try to challenge you, and you have to be really uh, a macro manager. Thinking in, in broad ways, I'm gonna die. These guys were not tough before. I should use my torch. Burn, burn you beast of waste. I really need a stone axe. <clears throat> a gift from stones lying around. I should find some. I also like in this game though, in comparison to Minecraft, is that you can see a map. Is this, what the hell? Did I go all the way over there? Is this the way the crow threw me? Or the, the giant raven? I swear I designed a crow and a raven, giant raven, in my game before seeing this game. And now it just appeared. That's kind of weird. Beautiful woods. So refreshing. These woods kinda look like kinda like where I live. Or I think they have pretty much have woods like this everywhere, honestly. Eat fresh raspberries. Good have the stamina, the health. So yeah. Uh different foods give you different stamina amounts and different health. So you kind of combine foods better ones to cook certain things to make them more valuable. And one of the best parts of this game, honestly. I can say best. It's a, I just a part I like. It's boats. The boats are like real boats. Oh, they're so cool. Well, you start off with a raft. We can make a raft, but we need six pigskins for a raft. Six pigs. Oh, here's a neck. Oh, God. Get away from me, neck. Nothing but neck. Safe in the water? I'm still wet with this torch somehow. Oh, yeah, if you get wet. So on the top right, says I'm wet. I'll. I won't gain much stamina. I guess I'll make a freaking club. I was waiting to make it. Wait, if I find Flint around here, maybe I can make a. There's flint in, in the shores of places for some reason. I don't know if that's true in real life. There are a lot of aspects that this follows to real life. That's a flint. I'm sure once I can make I think I need like a, a there's like a bench, of course. <laughs> you can craft some things up here, but you need a bench or something. Then you need different things for different things. I don't know if I can make a flint without I kind of like this little ri riverside here. I'm kind of considering it for my first establishment. It's good to make a lot of little extra bases because when you feel rested, it helps a lot faster. These guys give me a good meat. But they don't really give me anything else. When you're holding certain weapons, your, your movement speed can be changed. Um, and there's like different biomes. They all uh, kind of have their own things, I guess. And they kind of are tiered. So I'm only supposed to be in the meadows right now. I only have the stuff to deal with the meadows stuff. Oh, that bird. You shoot birds for feathers. Which... Honestly, I love just cutting down trees. I, I'll spend time just like cutting them down. They're really realistic. Oh, yeah. Compared to Minecraft, I need a freaking axe. I think I don't know how much flint you need. How much wood do I have? I don't have that much wood either. Oh yeah, deer. I don't. <laughs> Normally need a bow to get the deer, but I'm gonna run up to it and <laughs> just hit it with a bat. He's by the river. Oh, he's too fast. There's no way. Oh man, that was my one chance. 
<laughs> it's so ridiculous. Batter up. Dia's in the range. Gotta take him out. I need some freaking stones. Okay. Jeez. I mean, I couldn't even make a... I wouldn't have been able to make a bench. Without a hand. Oh, freaking wayward stone. Just need some... Good early resource. Let's swim. You can swim as much your stamina gets used up for swimming. And if you run out of stamina, you keep swimming. Then you drop. Start drowning. Start moving around. Stone. stone! Oh. I need four stones for an ant. Stone, please. Oh wow, look at that! Wow, this desolate, beautiful place. I don't know why it's called desolate. It's supposed to be desolate. I guess there's some funky little elf guys that churn around, but... I found... Busted Barn? Why? I could turn this into, into a place of my own if I needed to just survive. I mean, just quite a nice meadow. Oh! More buildings. Indeed, 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 and stone circles seem quite mysterious. Could they be? Deer taking b baths. So kawaii. In the distance, I could see a. I saw a little funky little elf guy. Graylings, I think they're called. Grayling. We'll discover what these other buildings. Let's see what secrets we find. But I can punch a tree. I can also whack it with a stick. Oh, but I'm wet, so my stamina is regaining slowly. I whack you. All I had was a sticker in my fist. I would use a stick to chop down trees. And I think it would do a little bit better. But I think these guys are like freaking strong. Give me, come here. Come here, you dear. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bat you next to New Jersey Stadium. The sun is going lower. The darkness, everything shall be dark. You can't see anything. So you can build torches. And this is one thing that annoys me in this game. It's hard to refill torches, A. And B, you have to refill torches or they go out. So, and nighttime is really dark. So, wait, wasn't I going towards the village thing? What happened to that? Oh, shoot. There's another. Oh, man. I actually, should label these things. Oh, God. It's out of my. Actually, it's okay. So this is another biome. This is the next biome. I don't track for that. You should not pass through here. Well, it's like a little village and a little cow. I mean, a, a sycophant. Hey, bro, that hurts. Don't throw rocks. It's not nice. Come on, man. I just gotta eat a raspberry. This guy's a, a tier two enemy. Oh, look at this. I'm gonna. But he's still he's a wimp. Roll. How about that? Nothing like that? Oh, ain't nothing. <laughs> Got to be it, dude. Go back. From whence you came. Ooh, treasure chest. Yes. These things, as far as I know, don't do anything. I kind of need everything, but I can use. Oh, bees. Oh, no. What? If I strike with the with this, strike at you. Me. Oh, I'm not gonna have much health. I've kind of overlooked that aspect. Wait, do I die from poison? I don't think so. Jeepers! All right, turn back. This is a dangerous place. You wander to a black forest. This place can be very dangerous. 
dangerous for those I'm prepared for. Prove your worth by slaying Ike, then. Would you just call me? Okay, I need help. I'm gonna attack those boar, but I am very. You can actually just feed the boar and they become your pets. I should actually build. Do I have enough wood? Can I build a hammer? I should definitely build a hammer. Hammer time, dude. So, let us build a table in here. It likes to be covered. But you can make little chimneys and stuff here. Crafting items it's out of control. Pretty horrifying. Ooh, stone. Yes. I have two because I made a hammer. Oy vey. Okay. Wow, that? You crafted a hammer. Yeah, I did. That was my accomplishment, crow. Don't at me. I need stone. I need stone. Oh, I thought that was a crow. A thing called a neck. Which I don't know why they're called necks. They're kind of like little lizard guys. They live in the water shores. And they kind of make a funny sound and chase you. I guess they bite you. They're kind of cute. Most of the things in this area are air on the adorable side more than the freakish, horrible, and strange side. <laughs> I think this place isn't so bad after all. Yes, my time comes. Wow, it is greatly nice and atmospheric. I should have labeled the town. It's going to become so dark when I can't find anything. I wanted some stone so I could make a bed. Be trouble. If I don't find three stones. Great, more flint. Precisely what I didn't need. Freak. I didn't label the village. Okay, I'm gonna label this. I'm getting a little, I'm getting a little on edge. Things get dark and scary. Okay. This is like. Has bees. That's, that's, uh, that's less appetizing for the market, the real estate market. Uh, the corpse on the real estate market. High value. Oh, I don't know why I was excited. This doesn't really do anything. If. <laughs> I was asked to the shield mate of the forest. I know nothing of my life before I came here, but my arm remembers the sword, and my eyes see the course of the arrow. Bro, I'm reading here. <coughs> now the raven guides me, and I fight the great beast in Odin's name. Great. Can you help me? Like, hit deer with bats and I'm the night thanks. Shield made another forest. This is looking bad. This is not good, bros. Well met. I see that you're a pig. Oh sh now the pigs are aggro! Uh, uh. Yes, you can carry a torch around. 
And this is actually pretty safe, despite not having most of the roof. You've built a workbench! A workbench allows you to craft complex items, as well as giving you access to lots of building pieces! To construct with the hammer! Alright. Can you get out of my house now? A little frightening. You are a horrible beast. See you later then! I guess that's it! Well... See you later! Can't you hear the tone of the music? Things are bad. I have not enough stones to build a campfire. Can't find any stones anywhere. There's bigger stones, but I don't have a pickaxe to pick at them. Can I make no? I bring tidings. Welcome to the night. When the temperature drops in the night. Or what? You will suffer from being cold. Oh, great. This reduces your stamina regeneration. Just like the wet reduces stamina regeneration. And doing anything reduces stamina. You really, And you need stamina for everything. Seeking shelter by an open flame. Yeah, that's what I've been trying to do, Crow. Don't at me. I told you. This freaking Crow just comes around top. I wish I could kill him, but I know. Would not work. Okay, label the town. Label the town. Label the town. I think of Zelda, so it's gonna be Kakariko Village. Kakariko Village. And I think from from torches to monsters don't spawn. Can I build anything, <laughs> bro? Okay, at least I can. So that's something. Resin and wood. What the hell hit me? Is that a boar? Well, I don't even have to use the door. I can use the roof. Roof access. It's a beautiful moon roof. Up into the sky, you can see Yggdrasil, the great world tree. Just a, just a branch. Well, uh, I'm kind of screwed. Well, I'm going to the night. Probably just wander in darkness. Trying to find stones in the dark. Who does this? <coughs> the angry boars. Oh, See, this is stone. Oh, I can hit it. I can't see anything. I can't see anything at all. Yeah, I think the coastline, sometimes the moon is bright enough to light up. That scary sound is a deer. You know, it's scary. It was just a deer. And they do some crazy jukes. Is this a bunch of stones? Are you... house to me. Hmm. How about not this? Can I? I can, I can bust this whole bed up. How about that? Bro, this is my house. Are you egging my house? What a jerk. What do I need? What the fuck? What the heck? Why is it red? Oh yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Warmth. Whoa, dude, are you egging my house? Dude, that's totally not cool. Go home. What are you doing here? I'm going to call my mom. <laughs> There's nobody to save me out here. Oh, yeah, I can make a little... Whoa, 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 whoa. Did he just hit me through my... This is my moon roof, dude. Don't at me. You're such a jerk. Crap. I gotta take care of this guy. Hey, boy. Like fire. Didn't think so. Limp foul. How about that? 
Get out of my garden. Get out of my moon roof. Never again. I'm gonna freaking deck you in the face, pal. That's disrespectful. Throwing stones through my sunroof. My star roof. Okay, can you sit down sometime? He likes it. Think about life. Look through my sunroof. Look at this torch. What a great torch. Actually, I need a bed. Do I have enough for a bed? Furniture. Need eight? Eight wood. And currently, I have only three. Okay. Will we survive the night? Will we survive more night? Maybe. Maybe night. We'll see you next time.